Hello and welcome to something I've been promising to do for quite a long time. Kerplicas and starting out really easy today. So uh, what what is Kerplicas? Kerplicas is really simple. It's building Cold War jet fighters in Kerbal Space Program and then currently the first goal will be to fly them to the island, land there, take off again and land on the main airstrip. I'm gonna talk throughout the recording what is going on, but let's get started. Uh, first things first, what are we building today? Easy simple, MiG-15. So, it's really, it's the first really simple, straight, streamlined fighter, jet fighter, I think, in history. Saber came slightly after. Um, yeah. P80. Uh, no. Is it T80? The uh, shooting star is unfortunately also like the MiG 8, MiG 9. A little bit. Mm, I'm gonna build them, but you'll see they don't look as cute and. Yeah, I don't think so. But, enough the talking. Uh, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna leave this open for a little while, the image on the side, but mostly gonna turn it off later on too, so you guys can see better what's going on. Um, what else is there to say? Yeah, currently not really a lot, so let's get started, of course. Easy peasy, I'm gonna use this cockpit in the beginning. Um, I'm playing in... Uh, oh yeah, and general other rule for it is to build them as small as possible, so usually I only use one fuel tank, one engine. There is later some really nice ones, I'm gonna build with double engine and so on, but um, as simple as possible is the usual rule. So, as you can see here, because the MiG-15 is just a barrel, essentially have the shape already. We could add in front here another tank. Uh, no, 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 not this one. Um, yep, I'm, I think I actually have to use pod clip in, clipping later on here. So let's directly turn it on Alt F12. A little pot clipping, that's a yeah, little bit of the thing because it just makes it look better. But I think like this they're too far out, so I actually want to put them inside. Yep, good angle. Can already see. Generally, our setup should be okay. So, then of course we need our control services, also here. Yeah, still have a nice balance. So, next of course, or almost final, just quickly putting on the landing gear. I can place them relatively far apart, which will make it easy to land. Yeah, I also don't like the front. It just feels too sluggish to me. So, let's just take the whole thing apart. Because this looks a lot a lot nicer and might have to adjust my wings. How is actually I haven't actually checked how my cockpit is located with the wings. No. Looks looks okay. So but let's do this again. Still sticking out too much. Okay. Oh, let's do it again. There's another trick to this. So, start again. This time not that low. Yep. 
Oh, this looks nice. Okay. So, of course, we need a letter on the whole thing. Otherwise, our pilot can't get out. Alright, and something else I'm usually doing is to set up an emergency landing system. Uh, for a small airplane like this, two should be enough. Hopefully it doesn't rip the airplane apart, but worst case, they're located under. So, this looks remarkably like one, doesn't it? Our weight distribution should be okay. Alright, save this sucker. Time for first test flight, I would say. Oh, I actually missed to set up the coops. Ah, it's best enter. Have our chat the launch pad. Let's turn on the engine. Oh yeah, I'm using the half speed, yeah. Half throttle. I'm using motion joy and a PlayStation controller. So I can do nice smooth movements which are definitely sweet to do a uh, sweet to have for flying a jet. However the, the new SAS allows you to fly those suckers also, um, yeah, all the buttons on them. Oh, this feels already quite, quite nice. Yes, build a good one. Oh, all right, full speed. See how fast you can get. Some fun with this. Maneuverability is reasonably well. This is lovely. Let's head off to land on the island. That's the plan after all. See how it behaves under some accelerated time. Um, originally landing on this island airport when I first tried out this whole thing a year ago or something um, landing was more difficult due to the fact that um, there was a giant ledge which you had to cross if you didn't manage to cross this ledge you just smacked against it and with that um, which here is a lot better overall because I have men haven't mentioned this yet, I'm flying without any mods. The only thing, the only modification outside of normal Kerbal Space Program gameplay I'm using is the Motion Joy controller. Okay, now I have to start concentrating. Let's get this sucker down. Oh. Done this in the wall. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Ah. Come on, get it down. And break. Yeah, should be enough runway left to get up again. Alright. Yeah, wasn't a nice landing, but we have it down, so. Let's toggle the brakes, turn off the engines. Get our letter out and say hi. Hello. So here we are. With a little tiny micro mini MiG fifteen. Landed successfully on the island. Ah actually there's a little bit of <laughs> Of gear still sticking out. God damn it. <laughs> so, let's fly this sucker home. Port. Tracked. 
Okay, well, let's do a jump start actually. Right on. Okay. Activate it. It's like when it's when you're all the uh, all the way at the back at the yep. If you didn't manage to break in time, this is how you get a small airplane like this off off again. <laughs> Turn on the brakes. Full throttle. Throttle and off we go. Alright. And we're heading home. <sighs> Time acceleration, yay! Mm. Oh, it's even controllable during time acceleration. Nice. Flying essentially now with one hand. Uh, no SAS, no nothing. One hand on the PlayStation controller, one hand on the mouse. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Landing on the big airstrip is, of course, a lot easier, so... Let's set it down again. Alright, same procedure as last time. Don't press wrong buttons. And... Landing her out. A little bit better fuel. Ah, uh, landing against the sun. This time there is of course a lot less pressure on landing and speed and so on because this runway is incredibly long. This is just too nimble. Uh, <coughs> no! It's still oversteering a little. Uh. Yep, come on. Should have trimmed it just a little. <laughs> but okay. Like I said, there's more than another round landing strip. Okay. And we're back at home. <laughs> Used most of the landing strip, but okay. Good enough. Let's take a last look on our little MiG 15. As small as possible. Oh, I actually haven't shown you something, which is the simple fact that we have a rescue system. Let's check out actually the rescue system. Oh no, the engine cut out. No, what are we gonna do? No. So, let's go around. Got the nose down. Oh, thank you, stabilizer. And deploy our parachutes. Uh, it's getting a little bit fast. No. Ah, sweet. Okay. Then gear out. Lights on. <laughs> and I can just with the girl. Get in precision later on to actually not. Over. Ah, it shouldn't even be that fast. Falling with a lovely 7 meters a second. So, that means if things would have gone a little bit bonkers, Bill would have still been safe. The abort sequence is simply just turn off the engine and launch the parachutes. And with this lovely picture of Bill returning to Kerbin, which he hasn't really left. <laughs> I'm gonna say goodbye for this episode and see you again in episode 2 where I'm, I think I'm gonna just do a contrast program and show one of the most complicated airplanes I've ever built or Kirby cars I've ever built so look forward to that keep calm and launch safe <laughs>